At gas prices on the rise again, surging nearly a dollar a gallon in some places. Right now, the average price for gas in North Carolina is $3.36 for regular and $4.52 for diesel. All this comes as high inflation starts to ease. So what's driving the price hike on fuel? NBC's George Salas has details. In an unexpected twist, pump prices are soaring nationwide this winter. Tonight, drivers are once again fuming over more expensive fuel. Gas prices going up don't alarm me as much as food prices going up. Inflation cooled in December to 6.5%, signaling some relief as prices of some goods are going down. Yet, the average for a gallon of regular currently hovering at around $3.50, surging nearly 10 cents from a week ago and 40 cents from last month. Winter traditionally sees lower gas prices because of less drivers on the roads, but an unusually mild winter season means the demand is high, putting a strain on supply. Experts laying blame on refinery troubles and booming oil prices. And the question is, where's the supply going to come from? And there's just not that many places around the world where lots of additional supply can come quickly. U.S. oil production is going to grow, but shale is not growing at the rate it was before. Colorado is among one of 10 states seeing some of the steepest week-to-week -week increases. The Centennial State left at a standstill after their sole refinery, run by Suncor Energy, was paralyzed by extreme cold weather last December and subsequent fires that caused extensive damage at the facility. And with China easing COVID-19 restrictions, worldwide demand is expected to skyrocket, combined with the Biden administration not willing to tap further into the petroleum reserve. Oil prices could climb to the $100 a barrel mark, but experts say drivers could see some relief soon. U.S. refining capacity is set to go up this year. In addition, there are new refiners coming online in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East.